I think women's hearts are sometimes very hard, said Jo. Jo expressed that uh, sometimes women's hearts are very hard. I don't know why. Usually Jo Thompson got out of his wife's way because he knew his wife's nature and he never conversed with her as she was non-combat humans. No battle can be fought with her because she was firing up on any of the subjects she wanted to. But suddenly he understood that there was some pity. Some pity, firmly set countenance and a resolute pair of eyes means her eyes were firm to know the reason why he brought that little child here which was quite very helpless. Yeah, there was in that lady's mind that this girl would have sent with someone else. But woman's heart is not so very hard as men. This matter was quite well known by this Jo Thompson. Jo saw by a quick intuition, he understood that his wife was not at all so very rude by heart, though her words were quite very sharp. Then he said the story which happened in the hovel. He went on explaining that how people left the hovel one by one immediately after that dead body was taken away from the hut. He said that no lady was ready, no person was ready to take this little child and only one hour had happened, left her alone in that old hut with the sun not an hour in the sky. Means the moment the dead body was taken away, not even sunset was happening there still. Means not even an evening was getting over, all left the hut and also this girl. Where were John and Kate? asked Mrs. Thompson. In between all her anger, she even inquired, where are that other two children? Farmer John tossed John into his wagon and drove off. Katie went home with Mrs. Ellis, but nobody wanted the poor sick one. Send her to the poor house, was the cry. Why didn't you let her go? Let her go then. What did you bring here, her here for? So he asked, uh, sorry, she asked, where are the two children? He explained that. Elder child was taken away by farmer Johns in his wagon and younger means that Katie was taken away by Mrs. Ellis. Then she asked what uh, he himself said that people who gathered there, they were shouting means crying that send this child to poor house. Then immediately she took the chance and said that why, why at all you brought this helpless child here? Why, had, why you didn't leave this child in the poor house? She can't walk to the poor house, said Joe. Somebody's arms must carry her and mine are strong enough for that task. He very gently said that she cannot walk to the poor house. Someone should carry her and my arms are quite very strong. So I took that child with me. Then why didn't you keep on? Why did you stop here? Demanded his wife. She asked, then why you stopped here? Why you didn't walk away directly to that poor house? Because I am not apt to go on fool's errands. I am not a fool to cover that journey to do the job without proper documents. Means fool's errand, a journey without proper reason. The guardians must first be seen and a permit obtained. He said that in a poor house, anyone to be admitted or to be left there, first any of the, any of the guardians should go and take the permission. No guardians were there to take the permission today. There was no gain saying this. So, going there and again I should bring back the child home only. So, I did not go. When will you see the guardians? Was asked with irrepressible impatience. She immediately asked, then when will you see the guardians and when will you send this child to poor house? Tomorrow. He very gently replied, tomorrow. Children, in next class. We will be seeing what will happen tomorrow. Okay. This tomorrow is quite very different. Every person has his own feelings children. We all think that situations are quite very fine with us. Many times time changes and time changes the person. And the person sometimes who is very rude can change. But what do you think? Mrs. Jane will change for this girl. Will she show some motherhood? Let us see in the next class. Okay. Thank you.